Overall, the tent is great, super light, and you're ready to rock and roll. Look at the size of him, look at the girth. This guy snapped my rod. That's why you never give up. Never give up. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Outdoor Junkies and today we have another exciting episode. This is an episode that everybody has been asking me to do on my fish brain, on my YouTube. And the number one question is, Billy, how do you get into these golf courses? How do you get in there and be able to fish them? Well, there's a big difference between golf courses and private communities. Today we're going to stay focused on golf courses and I'm going to tell you how to get in there. To start off of finding a good golf course, keep your Google Maps on guys. Keep your Google Maps on when you're driving, when you're driving to work, when you're driving to run some errands. My Google Maps is always on as I'm driving, finding these spots and what I'm doing is dropping a pin on them. So if I don't have that, if I don't have time that day to go fish them, I have them pinned and I'm able to go there and start doing my whole recon deal. Here is how it starts off. The way it starts off is Google Maps. You guys find a pond, drop a pin, go back at your earliest convenience whenever you have time to go ahead and start doing your recon on that lake. So now you guys found the lake that you guys want to fish. This is how you fish them. A lot of these golf courses, especially in the Palm Springs area, there are so many public golf courses. You don't need to jump fences. You don't need to do all these other things. Go through these gated communities. Guys, there's a lot of open public golf courses that you guys can go sneak in and fish. Here is where it gets difficult. The difficult part is, is starting to fish them actually. Go in there, start fishing them. And a lot of times, about 80% of the time, in the beginning, you will be getting kicked out. Once you start getting kicked out one or two, three times, you start to develop the times and the system when you should be fishing these golf courses. That is probably the key thing, guys. It takes time to figure out the schedules of these golf courses, to figure out exactly when is the best time to fish them. Um, a lot of golf courses that I fish, um, right now, especially in the summer, the golf courses are a lot less busy. So I'm able to go super early in the morning just because of the fact that it's summer and the golfers really ain't golfing that much right now. Unless sometimes you, you run into a golf course that has a tournament going on or something like that. Guys, you guys got to scram that day. Go back and try it again. Compacting all your fishing equipment. Don't go in there with 80 rods. Go in there with one rod, one reel, a small tackle box. I usually use like a fanny pack and kind of just put my my go-to baits, especially when it's a, a newer lake that I have not fished. I know we always like to be prepared on those on those days that you're, you're fishing new ponds. Go with the most minimum equipment that you possibly can. Because now you're not such a big target. You don't have rods out, you don't have them in rod holders, and you got three, four rods hanging out. Guys, that will not last. You will get thrown out immediately. Immediately, you, it, it won't last. So make sure you guys go with light tackle, one rod, and you guys go ahead and you guys try to fish that pond. The main thing is developing the best times for you to fish these golf courses, which is the hardest part. Um, like I said, in the summertime, you can get away with going early or later in the evening, you can get away with that. But sometimes during the middle of the day, which I know is super difficult guys, cause we all work and we all have jobs. But during the middle of the day, during the week is the best time to fish these golf courses. It is super, super hot out here right now. It makes it super difficult to fish during the day. The other thing I would suggest is your appearance. I know us as fishermen, we go fishing and we got raggedy clothes on, we got ripped up shirts and because you're not gonna wear nice clothes to go fishing. I'm definitely not telling you to wear a tuxedo, but wear a nice clean t-shirt, nice clean short. Try to make yourself look less suspicious. You know, that's the main thing. And if you guys are out there filming, it is super hard to set up tripods and all that because now you're just bringing a lot of attention to yourself. So strap your GoPro or your phone, whatever way you guys film, 
onto your chest, go low key by yourself for until you figure out your system. Once you figured out your system, you're able to bring a couple buddies with you. I would only suggest bring one buddy with you at a time to fish these places and definitely only bring a buddy that's gonna keep your place low key. The last thing we wanna do is burn up our spots that we have spent time and our effort on and to go out there and fish and then your buddies are going on their, on their, uh, you know, on their time off without you and they're fishing your spot and they're getting kicked out. And now when you go there, they already burnt up the spot and you're thrown out. So once you develop the system on fishing these golf courses, you're able to bring someone with you. There's a couple golf courses that I go to where they don't care. They don't care if you fish. There's probably two golf courses that really don't mind if you fish there. Another thing that I wanna talk about guys is staying out of the golfer's way. 95% of the time when you get kicked out of a golf course, it's because one of the golfers had made a complaint. If you're seeing golfers try to try to fish on the opposite side of the lake with them, um, sometimes you can get lucky and on these golf courses, they have um, private communities towards the homes. Try to stay on the home side more than on the golf course side. That is a super important tip to, to know. Green keepers are really cool. That's another thing I want I, I wanted, I wanted to say. The green keepers are usually really cool. It's not because of the green keepers you're getting kicked out. It's because of the golfers most of the time. You guys got to understand that these people actually go there and they're paying $100, maybe even more, $150 to spend a day of golfing. And they don't want to see a fisherman in their way that this possibly they can hit you with a golf ball. And it's happened, guys. I've never got hit with a golf ball personally, but I've had a couple kind of whiz past my face or like over my shoulder. So I've had a couple close calls, but overall, I've always been lucky and never got hit with a golf ball. So I guess I'm blessed there. Um, but that's another thing you guys got to keep in mind. Always respect the golfers, stay out of their way. Another thing that we can also discuss is getting kicked out. Guys, no matter what, it's gonna happen. You're gonna go to 10 golf courses, maybe three of them, you may get away with fishing them. Um, when the security guards do come up to you and ask you to leave, guys, this is probably the most important tip of them all. Stay super, super respectful to them, to the security guards, to the managers, to mostly it's the manager or security guard that's gonna kick you off. Always stay super respectful to them. Say, guys, I'm super sorry, I apologize. I will get my stuff, I will leave. 90% of the time, guys, they are not really gonna do nothing unless you are going to start getting into private communities. Then that's a whole different ball game, which I will be making an episode on, how I get into the private communities. That's, that's a whole different ball game, super harder, and you're starting to cross lines that you don't wanna cross. And once again, guys, I don't tell anybody to go into these golf courses and do what I do. I do these things just because A, I love fishing golf courses more than anything. Um, and plus, guys, I live in Palm Springs, man. There's not much lakes, and if there are lakes around me, they are within an hour or two, which is not so bad, but they are highly, highly pressured lakes and it always makes it a little more difficult to fish. So I think that wraps up all the tips that I can give you guys to sneak into golf courses. With all that stuff said, guys, I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys wanna see next. It is super important to me to be giving my subscribers the content that they are looking for. It is super important to me. So make sure you guys leave a comment below. Um, if you guys want to support this channel will be highly appreciated hit that subscribe button and you definitely want to hit that notification bell. instantly you will be notified when my videos are out I do upload every single Monday and Wednesday I got some awesome awesome videos coming up next some lakes that I'm gonna be fishing some collabs I'm gonna be doing and we're gonna have some exciting content guys so thank you so much deuces